this advertised distance and feasible distance for each and every path which one which feasible distance is minimum that path should be an best path second minimum second minimum feasible distance value should be considered as a second best path let's we can check out so go to the notepad so this is an first path that is r1 2 r3 r6 the first path the feasible distance is 69 12 triple zero next this is a second path so the feasible distance is 76 80 triple zero and this is a third path sorry uh, this is a first path r1 2 r2 r2 to r6 the feasible distance is 71 68 triple zero next or second path is r1 to r3 r3 to r6 the feasible distance is 69 12 triple zero and the third path is r1 to r4 r4 to r6 the feasible distance is 76 80 triple zero <coughs> next the last path is r1 to r5 r5 to r6 the feasible distance is 10 88 four zeros so just compare the all feasible distance which one is minimum here 71 68 triple zero so two four seven so here 69 12 triple zero here 76 80 triple zero so this feasible distance is 10 <coughs> 88 four zeros so this value is a minimum so r1 to r3 to r6 so this feasible distance is a minimum so this value should be a best path it should be presented in the routing table and remaining value should be presented in the topology table if it is a feasible this is a successor remaining path is a feasible successor if it is a feasible successor means there should be one condition so you should remember that condition what condition means so this path is an eligible for feasible distance means so the advertised distance for feasible successor sorry yeah so the advertised distance for feasible successor should be minimum the feasible minimum the feasible distance of the successor that means here the advertised distance should be 4352000 so the successor feasible distance is 69 so it should be a minimum so it is eligible for feasible successor next this one so 53 76 triple zero so 69 1 2 triple zero so this path also eligible for feasible successor next we have to compare this path 57 60 triple zero 69 1 2 triple zero so this path also eligible for feasible successor okay just let's we can check out in the table so go to the r1 router so exit just give show ip route so if you are giving show ip route means the best path should be an this one r1 to r3 r3 to r6 should be present in the routing table so the feasible distance is 69 12 triple zero our advertised distance is in 43 52 triple zero that's we can check it so show ip route yeah here we can see so 172 16 so this is an best path so the advertised distance sorry the feasible distance is 69 12 triple zero yeah you can see 69 12 triple zero it's correct yeah so let's we can go to the topology table so the best path only present in the routing table so remaining feasible successor and everything should be present in the topology table so give show ip ehrp topology table enter yeah here we can see so 69 12 triple zero is an feasible distance and 4352 4352 is an average distance so this path should be present in the routing table so the second path is 7168 so Here we can see 7168 triple zero. That's correct. Next 4352 triple zero. So 4352 triple zero. Next one. So 7680 triple zero. 
so 76 80 triple zero so the advertised distance is 53 76 triple zero so the 53 76 triple zero yeah so everything so all the values should be correct in the our table okay so now the best path only present in the routing table the second best path should be presented in the topology table okay so the all the possible remaining possible ways should be present in the topology table so here we can use the unequal cost load balancing unequal cost load balancing means so different metric value also allow to allow in the routing table here we can use the variance command using variance command we have to allow the second that we can allow the feasible successor into best path here the best path should be an r1 to r3 r3 to r6 so the feasible distance value is the feasible distance value is 69 1 2 triple 0 so using variance command we have to allow the unequal cost load balancing that means so if you are using variance command variance we have to give the value the value should be 1 to 128 in that we have to give any value for example if i am giving variance 2 means so the best path feasible distance is 69 1 2 triple 0 into 2 so that value should be compared to remaining feasible distance so that value should be minimum when compared to the other feasible distance that value should be minimum means that should be allow into the routing table that means best path so here i will give variance 2 so in go to the r1 router ehrp and give the autonomous system number then i will give variance variance sorry 